time to rise and shine, buttercup. I'm gonna go start a load of laundry, fix me something to drink. We'll sit down, do a quick morning chat and a rundown of what the day has to offer. I'll see you in a sec. Good morning, my little chickadees. It's an energy drink kind of day. I don't mean it in a I feel bad kind of way. It's just I got a lot to do and I need to focus. Let's get straight to business. The plan for today. I think I'm going to dirty fast. Basically, skip breakfast. When I dirty fast, I do allow zero calorie drinks. I'm just not hungry today and I'm not gonna force myself to eat. I'll do lunch and dinner, snack or dessert, I'm not sure yet. I will show you all of my meals. There will be a chat, sip and chat, snack and chat later on in the day. We have a lot to catch up on. I mean, a lot. First, I heard from the insurance company about my car, ich. Second, I started my Omnipod insulin pump a couple of days ago. Hmm. It seems like there was more. I'll have to start my list so that I forget nothing. Tot tot, looks like rain, but you know what? I don't care. Life is good, everything is amazing. I'm giving today a thumbs up. It is what you make it, right? <coughs> Apparently I was thirsty. And since I've already managed to suck down an entire cherry slush, I'm gonna call the little morning chat finished and go fix me a large glass of ice water. Don't go anywhere. We got a lot to talk about. Question, do you like your ice cubed or crushed? Our favorite is the Chick-fil-A or Sonic ice. The kids are trying to talk me into picking up the GE Opal Nugget ice maker and it makes that magical soft ice in little itty bitty pieces. If you guys have one, let me know. Do you like it? And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll put it in the description box for you so you can go check it out. Time to prep some snacks. My favorite right now is seasoned pecans. Here's the recipe on how I make them if you wanna screenshot it. Feel free to double or even triple the batch. Preheat the oven at 350, melt two tablespoons of butter, and pick your favorite nut. I'm using raw pecan halves that I pick up at Sam's Club. Add two cups to the melted butter, add a dash of pink salt, and then your favorite seasoning. I like to use Flavor God. They have so many keto-friendly seasonings to choose from, you're not gonna run out of options. Remember, I always have that discount code for them in the description box along with a ton of other companies. So use those so you never have to pay full price. Now sprinkle on as much or as little of your seasoning. I'm using the pizza flavored and then I'm going to give it a mix. Once everything's coated, I'm going to lay these nuts out on a single layer on a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet and then into the oven for four minutes. I'm going to pull it out, give them a flip, put them back in the oven for an additional four to five minutes. Keep an eye on them. You don't want them to burn. Then let them cool completely and store them in an airtight container. One fourth cup would be a serving with four total carbs or one net carb. Now my favorite snacks prepped for the next few days. Time to start digging around in the fridge and seeing what I can come up with for lunch. Thankfully, I have leftovers, so all I have to do is reheat and eat. Members mark Hatch Chili Monterey Jack Cheese Smoked Sausage. One link is 320 calories, 28 fat, 2 carbs, and 15 protein. I had fixed these in the air fryer last night. All I had to do today was microwave them for just a few seconds. I also had leftover steamed broccoli. To that, I added salt, butter, and a little bit of shredded cheese. The entire meal is 9 total carbs or 6 net carbs. And to drink, I'm having some more water. For the first time in several months, today's sip and chat slash snack and chat is not going to include a review. <gasps> I know, shocker. I'm having some more water. For my snack, I'm having some Hormel turkey pepperonis. I cubed up some pepper jack cheese and one fourth cup of the pizza pecans that I made this morning for a total of about five carbs. Remember, now I have to go buy total carbs instead of net carbs. Thank you, type one diabetes and faulty pancreas. I did bring my list because I didn't want to forget anything and you know how it is sometimes. 
I'm gonna start out with the easiest. Remember about a week and a half ago when I wrecked my car? Well, I heard back from the insurance company. They've totaled it out. We're just waiting on all of the paperwork to go through. Then I'm gonna have to go look for a new car. By new car, I mean a new to me car. Truthfully, I'm just thankful that the insurance company is covering it, that I wasn't seriously injured or no one else was. Like you all have said in all of the comments, things can be replaced, people can't. I've been putting the whole car situation on hold because it just wasn't a task that I was looking forward to, obviously. But <laughs> it's something that I really need to get done because we're down to just Chris's truck and that doesn't work well for us just having one vehicle. And the fact that he needs to probably head back out of town for work really soon because of insurance purposes. We have got to get a car this month because he will probably leave right after the holidays and I'm not looking forward to it. I like having Chris home. As for the burn from the airbag, it's starting to look better. It's healing well. I'm keeping triple antibiotic ointment on it, but I think it's gonna leave a gnarly scar. My oldest son says it'll make for a good story. I'll just say it's a shark bite or something. <laughs> now, for the news I have been dying to share. I'm a little hesitant because I don't wanna jinx it. Let's start at the beginning, as in the beginning of the week. I did my Omnipod insulin pump training. It was a virtual session online and it lasted about two hours. I was worried because of all the brain fog that I've had for the past two years that I just would not be competent enough to retain the information and understand what was being said. I'm talking with my hands a lot. Maybe I should sit on them. I also had watched lots of videos online tips, tricks, things people feel like they have learned from wearing the insulin pump, what you should be aware of, how to make it run more smoothly because it's a whole new system. I was used to injecting myself with long-lasting insulin and rapid insulin when I ate. Now I just use the fast-acting insulin, the Lumgev, in my pump and it gives me micro doses throughout the day. The Omnipod insulin pump has an algorithm. It learns, it literally learns how you react to food, how you react to insulin. It knows to slow down if you start to go too low. It knows to give you a little more or suggest more if you start going high. A smart, one of a kind, closed loop system that I had been hesitant to try because I was afraid all of the what ifs. What if something goes wrong? What if I can't figure it out? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And as we are all well aware of, you can't sit and live in the what ifs. You just gotta go for it sometimes. And at my last endocrinologist appointment, he said, I felt horrible all the time because the sensitivity to food and insulin and my constant ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, downs. So I thought, what have I got to lose? Here we are. I am on day four. <sighs> day four. I'm on day four. Everything that I had heard, seen, read, listen to podcast wise, looked up on Facebook groups, said the first day or two is like this wonderful honeymoon period where your blood sugars look amazing. Everything is awesome. There's rainbows, unicorns, just a whole barrel of awesomeness, right? And then about, you know, day three hits and it just all goes to... <laughs> Because, again, it's an algorithm and the pump is trying to learn you. Let it do its thing. Let it figure out your system and how it needs to dose. Be patient. My doctor even said, the first month, expect to run high. It's going to be awful. But by that second month, 
it's going to start getting smoother. Things are going to be easier. Well, like I said, I'm on day four. <laughs> Hold on, because I'm not going to cry. I'm composed. Day four. Actually, getting ready to roll into day five. I'm on my second insulin pump because the pods have to be changed every three days. Everything is going perfectly. I am kicking myself for not fighting for an insulin pump sooner. I should have listened to everyone when they told me to go for it. Instead of being hesitant, resistant to the idea, this has been a game changer. I don't think that it's going to automatically flip now and go bad and me start having a rough time because day five, everything's great. I'm anywhere from 95 to 100% of the time in range. I'm having some spikes when I eat because I'm just sensitive to food and I metabolize and absorb food so quickly. Maybe it's due to gastric bypass. They're really not sure. But remember, that was in 2006. So going on two decades ago, I've always had issues with metabolizing things really quickly, even before that. So we're not really sure. But when I say I'm having blood sugar spikes before the insulin pump, the blood sugar spikes were 350, 400. Now, they're like 140, 160. Maybe once there was a 200. That's a normal blood sugar spike for a non-diabetic after a meal. But here's what I've learned. It was not the blood sugar spikes that were causing all of my problems. It was the continuous blood sugar lows. I mean, numerous, like a half a dozen to a dozen a day instead of one unit, the pod micro doses. And I couldn't do that. I have not had a single blood sugar low in five days or since starting the Omnipod. And that was definitely what has been causing my problems these last two years. The brain fog pretty much lifted completely. I can think. I can put together a sentence. I'm not slurring my words. I'm not losing words. I'm not losing things. I don't forget why I go into a room. I can process a thought. Why does nobody talk about this? Type 1 diabetes, low blood sugar, over a two-year period does a real number on a person. I mean, I was having some bad thoughts there for a while. I didn't feel like I could continue to push forward because I was not the same person mentally, physically, emotionally, cognitively, I guess, where the brain fog <laughs> was so thick, I did not or wasn't able to put two and two together. And even when my endocrinologist said it was those constant ups and downs and that he really felt like the pump would help me or completely fix the situation, I didn't believe him. I thought there was no way. This is two years. I've tried everything. There's no figuring this out. There's no better future in my horizon. But I was wrong. And I'm not too big to admit it. Am I back to 100%? No. I think it's going to take a little bit of time, even if I ever do go back to 100%. But right now, and we've had this discussion before, if two and a half years ago before diagnosis, that was my A game, I was at 100%. And then two weeks ago, I was barely functioning. I was at 15%, maybe. I just, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't think. I hurt all over. Just you name it to the point I'm at right now, five days into wearing an Omnipod and having no blood sugar lows and staying in range between 70 and 180, I'm at a good 90% back to normal. What? How is that possible?
Last night, I had a complete and total breakdown because I feel like I lost two years to type 1 diabetes, or at least I was blaming type 1 diabetes, when it was just the ups and downs and ups and downs and me being too stubborn or too scared to try something new, an insulin pump. I could have had my life back forever ago and I was resistant. I want to say thank you to all of the people who kept sending me messages saying, don't you dare give up, this is a game changer, give it a shot. Or don't give up, keep fighting the insurance company because there were so many times I just wanted to throw in the towel. It's like, it's not worth it. I don't wanna do it anyways. It's not gonna fix anything. This is what I am now. This is how it's always gonna be. I was wrong. I was wrong, thank you. Thank, thank goodness I was wrong. If it hadn't have been for you guys telling me, keep going, keep pushing, keep fighting, I would have gave up. You guys saved me from a lifetime of what I was dealing with. It was debilitating. It was depressing. I feel so much better. And I refuse to mess this up. I'm gonna be diligent. I'm gonna watch my carbs. I'm gonna do everything I'm supposed to. I'm gonna type in all of my numbers. I'm gonna stay in range. I'm gonna not have highs and lows. This brain fog is not coming back because I won't allow it. And I'm crossing my fingers that as time moves forward and this gets easier and the brain fog's gone longer and longer, that I will be back to 100% in no time. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna stay positive. It's gonna happen. And this is me today. I am definitely Mary. I am so happy. I could not tell you the last time I was this excited, that I was this hopeful. It's only gonna get better from here. Yeah, I know. I made <laughs> the chat longer than my normal long chats. I had to let you know the good news. It's amazing. It's an amazing day. I love you guys. And thank you, thank you, thank you for getting me through that. I'm gonna go. And I shall be back when anything major happens or I have a snack meal, dessert, whatever. I'll see you in a sec. As if my day could not get any better, chocolate has arrived at my doorstep. When it comes to picking up sweet treats, Chalk Zero is my go-to. Right now, they have a ton of holiday items. I do want to clarify that this is not a sponsored video. I just like sharing with you all the things that I love. Chalk Zero is one of those companies that have given me a discount code so that I can use it, and you can too, so when you order, make sure you apply that. It's down in the description box. When you go over to the website, look for the items that they have on deals. Then apply my discount code and save a ton of money. If you haven't tried the marshmallows, you need to. And they're shaped like little trees. How cute. Another favorite, the Keto Bark Not Sugar Cookie flavor, which tastes like a sugar cookie. I know what I'm having for dessert tonight. Dinner tonight is one of our favorites, and we've not had it in ages. Egg roll in a bowl and yum yum sauce. I did an entire video on this recipe, so let me link it for you in the cards and in the description box. With this one, you can use whatever meat that you have. Tonight, I'm using chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and cook that in my pan with oil, and I did sprinkle garlic powder on my chicken just for extra flavor. While the chicken finishes up, I'm gonna go ahead and start the cabbage. I like to use the tri-colored slaw mix into the pan with some soy sauce and pink salt. Let that cook till you get it to the desired tenderness or crispiness that you like. Once it's done, I make a little well, crack an egg, scramble it up, mix it in. When the egg's done, I add the chicken. That's it. This is a family favorite. The kids love it, keto or not keto. Once I have it in my bowl, I like to add just a little bit more soy sauce. You could use coconut aminos if you want. And I drizzle the top with the sauce. This stuff is drinkable. I forgot how much I enjoy egg roll in a bowl. I need to add this to the weekly rotation and just change up the meat. To drink, I'm having a Sprite Zero Sugar. I'm trying to stay away from the caffeine as it gets later into the night, even though caffeine doesn't affect me. 
I've been waiting on this dessert slash sweet treat ever since it arrived at my door earlier. I'm going to have a piece of the Chalk Zero Keto Bark Not Sugar Cookie. The package has quite a few inside and they're individually wrapped. There's 15 pieces in here. One piece is a serving, 50 calories, four and a half fat, one protein, and five total carbs. Four dietary fiber, so only one net carb. And these aren't tiny. These are limited edition, so order them while you can. Absolutely delicious. So I've been getting this question a lot lately. Christy, why so much water? In my head, I know that I should drink more water, but it doesn't taste good. It tastes like nothing. It's blah. I have to choke it down. But the reason I've tried to up my consumption of this clear liquid is because I wear a continuous glucose monitor. So one of the monitors that's attached to my body, it suggests that for a more accurate reading, you might wanna stay hydrated. So yeah, I'm wearing a Dexcom G6 now. Omnipod, this is my insulin pump and Dexcom, this is my continuous glucose monitor. Just trying to drink more water. Keep me in your thoughts. It's hard. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for hanging out with me. This video is super long, so if you're still here at the end, I want you to know you are one of my favorite people. All the things mentioned in today's video will be in the description box with those discount codes, so make sure you go down there and look around. If you've not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you over here as a part of my YouTube family. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready for bed, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.